Oh, I just blinded by all that nude. When did you start wearing a hijab, girl? <laughs> you know, we try now here. <laughs> I still the same on Maria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Yes, I'm wearing the hijab now. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even realise. <laughs> now that you've brought it up though, like, what made you want to wear it? Do you know what? I've been thinking about it for so long and then I started praying and it just hit me like I'm ready. MashaAllah, that's actually really inspiring. Between you and I, I've always thought about wearing it but I don't feel like I'm good enough. No, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. I just thought I'd rather try to do what's asked of me than give up on everything entirely. Wow, that's deep. Trust me, I've been banging out Mufti Mink's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, how are we this morning? Ready for some action and attraction? Gary, it's 9am. I need time to defrost. Can we just... Okay. <laughs> Maria? Can I just see you in my office quickly? Yeah, sure. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Um, I might have told Gary that you broke the printer. Ah, oh, it's not. It's cool, he might not recognise you with the hijab. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I thought she was on annual leave. I don't want to get in trouble. Hey. Hey. Um, just a quick chat, if that's all right. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah. Uh, I was actually going to ask you the same thing. Well, I tested negative, so I guess so. <laughs> huh. Huh. Right. Um, look, I'm aware that you've just come back from Syria. Syria? You mean Algeria? From Algeria. And I couldn't help but notice that you're now wearing the... Uh, the, uh, the... The hijab. Yeah, the... Um, that... Uh, I mean, it's great, but... I don't want other people in the office to feel uncomfortable, especially not clients, uh, I'm sure you understand. So I am going to have to run this past senior management um, just to make sure it's okay for you to come to work wearing it. Well, if I can't wear it to work, then I can't come to work at all. Maria, wait. You know you could challenge this, maybe even change these ridiculous policies. How do you think it's going? I think it's going well. I mean, you gave Isla the day off for Eid. Oh, Maria. Maria, come on, let's... Do you know what, Gary? I really didn't expect this from you. Hey, what's happened? What's wrong? Well, apparently I've got an ultimatum. Either I take my hijab off or I lose my job. What? No, wait, so you're saying that because you've got a scarf on your head, you have to leave work? Yeah. Absolutely not. No, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get my headscarf around this, Gary. So are you saying that Maria has to leave because she's wearing a hijab? Yet some of us choose to cover our heads at work, yet you've never said anything to me about this. Look, Sarah, you know as well as anyone that I don't make the rules around here. But you do have a say in the decisions, do you not? Um, well, yeah, in a way, yes. Um, look, I am all about compromise, OK? So why don't you not wear it on the days that we have visitors? Gary, that's not how it works, OK? People like you are in positions of power so that your actions could have a ripple effect on others so people like me don't have to take off our hijabs or lose our jobs. We are a multicultural team in this office, Gary. You should be celebrating and respecting each other's differences. Yeah, um, yeah, you know what, you're absolutely right. Uh, sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but leave it with me. I'm going to get this sorted. Because we are a team. And you know, despite what you think, I really like wearing the hijab. And I love that you've inspired me to one day want to wear my hijab. Yeah, I sometimes like covering my head too. And I'd love if I could get paid. 
And I love wearing open toe sandals so it doesn't hurt my bunions.